Hey everyone! It's about a year ago I published a children's book called Thank You Mother Nature and I get a lot of questions about how I published it so I just thought I'd share my story. So the idea for the book had been kind of ruminating in the back of my head for years and um, a couple years ago I was at my friend's cottage for the weekend and I think playoff basketball was in the background and I was looking out the window and all of a sudden an inspired thought came a little bit clearer with regards to the books. So immediately I acted on the thought and that is key. When you have those inspirational thoughts, act on it immediately. Don't think I'll do it later tonight or do it tomorrow. Grab the pen and paper, which I did, and immediately started writing down the book. And I had the first draft probably within an hour. And I was thinking, man, this is pretty good. So I reached out on Facebook and I put it out there and said, hey, does anybody know any publishers? Um, nothing really came from that. So um, fast forward, I think maybe even a couple of months, and I'm laying in bed, um, probably close to midnight at the time, and uh, again, another inspirational thought popped into my head, and a coworker that I had worked with almost 10 years ago um, mentioned, I think, a conversation in passing that his sister was a, a publisher. So again, I immediately acted on that thought, and I, I emailed him through Facebook, and I said, hey, is your sister still in the publishing world? And he put me into contact with her, and immediately she said, um, you know, I'm not really taking on anybody new at the moment, but I'll look over it. Um, so she did, and thankfully she liked it and picked up on it. And, um, you know, after a lot of hard work going back and forth, we had the final draft, which was really exciting. But then what? You know, uh, my publisher was amazing. She put it out on um, online for Chapters in Indigo, on Barnes & Noble, on the Amazons.com and .ca. But then what? How do you get sales? So I started hustling behind the scenes and I called um, individual chapter and indigo, indigo stores and um, spoke to the manager and the first time I think I choked on the word author because I didn't feel like an author and I asked if I could do a signing and a reading and, um, and then she, uh, she let me know exactly what it is and how it goes. She was amazing on the phone. And she told me that I could do a reading and a signing once a year. So I started calling every store that I could in my area, you know, the GTA. And um, some I couldn't get into, but again, like, I wasn't scared of rejection. Because um, I thought, what, you know, what do I have to lose? I have nothing to lose at this point. Um, so then I was able to book a tour in the GTA, which was fantastic. And the first reading I did, I sucked. I didn't know what I was doing. And each one I did, I got better and better as the time went on. Um, and now I can confidently say that I'm a children's author um, without choking on those words. So if you have those inspirational thoughts, act on it immediately. Don't think, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow, um, do it next month when I have time. You'll never have time. You know, do it when you're, you know, at a party with the, you know, playoff basketball in the background. Um, you know, whatever it is, act on it and don't wait. Um, you are worth it. And we want to hear those amazing ideas that you have. All right, take care for now, everyone. Bye.